Hi everybody, George here from Paintball Revolution. So I thought maybe we'd take a quick second and do an unboxing video as well as a short product review on the GTEC 160R. Those are in here now and I thought, thought you guys would want to see it. So without further delay, let's go ahead and open it up. So here's the 160R, the GTEC 160R from Planet Eclipse. Open up the box real quick. And we have inside that nice case that Planet Eclipse has been doing on all their their newer markers, the uh, that hard shell case. We'll open it up. These are great cases, by the way, guys. If you already have a Planet Eclipse, you know you know how nice these cases are. If you don't, trust me, they're great cases. They're formed. They got that foam, that hard shell. They're awesome. Okay, so real quick, just on the inside, right on top, we've got the uh, product manual. This, if you guys haven't looked into your user manual. If you own a, a Planet Eclipse, you know that these, this is a great tool. There's a lot going on in there. A lot of your questions can be answered right away just by looking through here. They've got a lot of good information. That's a go good tool to have. Don't lose that. Uh, a lot of your questions, you can answer them yourself just by looking through here. So that's a, that's a great item there. Make sure you keep, keep the user manual. Um, also, Planet Eclipse, they include one of their barrel covers. These are nice, high-quality barrel covers. They get the job done great. Really nice of them to include that. Um, also a tube of grease. Planet Eclipse makes some good grease. This stuff is great. Use that when you're cleaning up, when you're relubing your marker. It's going to keep it running fresh. It's really nice stuff. Um, also, this is one of my one of my big favorites. Planet Eclipse includes this uh, set of Allen keys. But what I really like about it is the the little um, housing that it's in. This this holder that keeps all of the Allen keys in also has a set on section on the bottom. If you guys are not familiar with this. We can actually take the Allen key, take the small end, and plug it into the groove here on the bottom, and it turns it into a T-handle, so you can get a good torque on that. If you ever have a stuck Allen screw, you can get a really good torque on that by putting that, putting the short end into that little uh, section on the bottom there to make that T-handle. It's kind of really cool that they include that, and it's a great set of Allen keys. So that's in there as well. And let's not fail to mention the rebuild kit. Plenty of O-rings in here, detents, some screws, a couple of springs, everything you need in there to completely rebuild the marker. Planet Eclipse wants you to be playing with this thing for a while, so that's all in there for you to keep it up to ship shape. All right, take take a quick look at the uh, barrel backs. So this is not a uh, not a shaft barrel back. It's not one of the Planet Eclipse uh, shaft branded barrel backs, but this one here actually has the bore size on it. This is a six eight nine. Planet, still a Planet Eclipse, just not one of the shaft. And here's the tip. So we're looking at one of the dust blue and black GTEC 160Rs. So there's the tip. So this is a 14-inch barrel. If you put the back and the tip together, decent, decent tip. Again, um, not one of the pro tips, just the standard tip. All right, enough of that aside. Let's look at the marker. So here we go. This is the GTEC 160R. So right away, you guys probably notice that the macro line is not there. So what Planet Eclipse has done here is they've put the AT pipe back. So the air is actually transferred from the ASA up through the grip frame across the trigger guard, across the AT pipe into the regulator. So no more macro line. Now the way they've managed to do that is by actually making the entire marker aluminum. There's no more plastic parts like on the predecessor, on the GTEx. So on the previous GTEx, you know, there was plastic feed neck, plastic back cap here, and pretty much the entire grip frame was that composite material. So now that it's all aluminum, they can uh, bore out some of the air channels to get that air up to get rid of that macro line which is great. Now, uh, I believe it's been announced that there is going to be a POPS ASA upgrade for the GTEC 160R, but for now they come with that thumb screw on off. But what they also come with is that OLED board upgrade, which on the GTEC was an upgrade. It's included on the 160R. Now it still has the lights, it, uh, so it's got the flashing pattern and the, and the color pattern. If you guys are already kind of used to that on the GTEx, if you didn't get the upgrade uh, on the OLED board, you've still got those lights so that you can control it that way. But the OLED board is in there as well for a visual representation of all your settings. So that's really nice that that's there. Uh, okay, real quick, 
Planet Eclipse also says that they've redesigned the core. It's got the new gamma core is what they're saying with the breach sensing technology. And I believe they're talking about the electronic eyes that can actually sense what's going on in the breach so you don't get any breakage. Uh, and so that's their upgraded gamma core. It looks very similar to the GTEC, but you know, just at first glance, this is, this is what we see when we pull it out. So now I wanna to talk to you guys about something that's really exciting not just for us, but also for you. And that's the trigger. So you might notice that on this GTEC 160R, it's using a very similar trigger style as the CS1. In fact, it's almost identical. It's got the trigger shoe that the trigger's actually screwed into. Now why is that exciting? Because Paintball Revolution made a custom trigger for the CS1. And that custom trigger will fit on the G on uh, the GTEC 160R. So in case you guys want to get that claw or you want to get that butterfly paintball revolution trigger, you can because those can be installed on that same shoe just like the CS1. Now I believe Planet Eclipse moving forward is going to continue to make this trigger design so that's really great news for all of us because you guys can pick up all of these paintball revolution triggers for your new markers. So that's really exciting. All right, so I want to talk about the trigger just a little bit longer because we know there's been a lot of questions about whether or not this trigger is going to fit on the previous GTEx, and I have an answer for you guys. So here's uh, the bottom frame for a GTEx 160R, and this is the bottom frame for the previous GTEx, and the answer is no. Unfortunately, you will not be able to upgrade your older model GTEx with the newer trigger because the design is completely redesigned. So this trigger will not drop into the place of there. So we've seen this question a lot. We've gotten this question. Will the new GTEx 160R trigger fit into the older GTEx? And the answer is no. I'm sorry, it will not. But there you go, guys. We can put that one to bed. Okay. So... There it is, guys. I just wanted to show you this real quick, do a quick unboxing, kind of do a quick review of it, talk about the trigger, talk about some of the new designs. So let us know what you think. This is the new Planet Eclipse GTEC 160R. This is going to be available on our website at www.paintballrevolution.com. We want to know what you guys think, so make sure you hit us up on our social media. We're always posting on Instagram, so if you don't already follow us, please head on over there and give us a follow. And leave any comments below, guys. We'll get to you as soon as possible. And as always... Thanks for watching.